Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about the web clipping tool available for Evernote on Mac. So I'll tell you how to download and operate this tool on Chrome as well as Safari. Let's get straight into it and open Chrome. So as soon as you open Chrome on the left hand side of the, of the screen, you will see uh, an application named as apps and what you can do for downloading the web clipper is click on this apps in Chrome and then click on the web store and as soon as the web store opens you can search the store for web clipper Evernote and then as soon as you click on it the first result that you can see is the Evernote web clipper and to download this you simply click on add to chrome and as soon as you add to chrome it will ask you for some permissions so click on add extension and as soon as you do that it will check for some permissions and it will add the extension to your chrome and as you can see here is the extension and then here it will show you as soon as it shows another page will open up and it will show you the Evernote Web Clipper Quick Start Guide and how to you know operate the Web Clipper and so I will also show you how to operate it for if you click on this icon in your Chrome toolbar you have to uh, log into Evernote to sync it with your desktop application. So whenever you clip an uh, an article or a video from the web, uh, it gets saved onto your uh, desktop Evernote application. So I uh, have my Google account logged in in my desktop application. So I will click on continue with Google. And I will choose the email ID that is associated with my desktop Evernote account and as you can see the Evernote uh, sync in has been successful and as you can see for this page the Evernote Chrome extension has opened up and it has automatically seen that this is an article and uh, this is the line the green line that you can see the edges uh, it has identified this as an article this whole thing and if i want to save this thing it has already chosen it as an article format you can organize it in your whatever notebooks that you have in your uh, evernote desktop application and if i want to save it to my personal notebook i can click on personal notebook or i can create a whole new notebook to which i can save this article so i wanted to save it on my personal notebook so i click it here and I click on save clip save clip and now this will clip this whole quick start guide article and then it will save it to my Evernote account and to view it at Evernote I will click on view it in Evernote and uh, now Evernote will open the main application and it will show me the clipped article in this I have already added it to my browser so I will just close this and as you can see in all notes this clip that I had saved has been saved here I will give you an, another example so for example if I open YouTube And uh, let's say I click on uh, this video which shows me how the rock spent a hundred thousand dollars and if I want to save this video I just click on the Evernote web extension and as soon as I click on this extension It, the it has whole world identified is focused on China right now. But what if I told this you? Pause this. So it has identified this video as a YouTube video. 
uh, as this clip as a YouTube video automatically and that is one of the uh, cool things about the web clipper that it identifies the kind of document by itself and now if I, I can organize this by saving it in my notebooks or adding a new notebook here and uh, if I click on save this will save uh, the title the YouTube link the video snippet and the description so as soon as I click on save clip it will sync and save the clip onto my Evernote account if I want to view it in Evernote I can uh, click on view in Evernote and view it view this clip in Evernote so this is how you organize your uh, Evernote by saving clips of whatever you are searching on the internet and uh, that day these clips can come in handy when you are writing up a project or doing some research or uh, if you just want to save something that you think might come in handy in the future for you so this is how you do it in uh, Chrome and the procedure is basically the same in uh, Safari so for uh, Safari just open Safari and now you can see uh, the Safari application has been opened and you just go on google.com and you type in get Evernote web clipper for Safari and as soon as you hit on search the first link comes and you open the first link and here you can see an option of get web clipper just click on get web clipper and what this will do is uh, this will open the Mac App Store for you automatically so that you can download the uh, web clipper for Safari on Mac and you can see this is a web clipper for Safari 30 and you click on open and uh, click on enable Evernote web clipper and as soon as you do that uh, it will automatically ask you for some permissions and uh, as soon as you give those permissions it will install Evernote Web Clipper on your uh, Safari and now as you can see the same page has opened up which shows, Evernote, which shows the Evernote Web Clipper Quick Start Guide and now as you can see you have the Evernote uh, Web Clipper option at the top of the navigation bar and uh, the same uh, the same procedure applies if you want to save something to your Evernote and uh, flip it so I go to google.com I search for best clips or I search for let's say best articles and uh, I click in and these are the best articles and uh, if I let I I want to clip this and keep it in my Evernote for future references I click on here which is the uh, Evernote Safari extension and as I did with Chrome I sign in with my email ID that is associated with my uh, desktop account and uh, as soon as I sign in with my Gmail account which is associated with uh, my Evernote desktop account it loads the web clipper automatically it identifies this as an article right and then I can move along this to include extra things in my uh, article uh, that I want to clip and save 
and once I do this I can organize it by notebooks and then I can click on save clip which will save this clip in my uh, Evernote desktop application or web browser application and I can use it in the future whenever I need this so this is uh, how you save clips from Evernote uh, web extensions in Chrome and Safari and this is a very useful tool and I use this tool almost daily to uh, help me save information that I think I might need in the future and uh, you can uh, you can also what you can also do is you can also share these clips by clicking on share so you can mail these clips or you can copy the URL on a clipboard and then send over that URL through mail or through WhatsApp or through any other medium that you want to. If you have uh, any other questions regarding how to use the clip tool in either Chrome or uh, Safari, do let me know in the comments and I will try and get back to you. And uh, if you like the content, please hit on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to keep updated on the regular content that I'm posting here. Signing off, stay safe.